This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. I wasted $582 on Nintendo. No, that's not how it goes. How does it go? Um, I spent $582 on this box of Nintendo Switch customer returns. It's time to see what I got and if I got ripped off. So there are 24 items in this box, which means I paid a total of $24.25 for each of these items. Let's see what all I got and see if it was worth it. Okay, so first of all, let's get to some of the cheaper stuff like this Genesis six button arcade pad. And then we have these Yoke dual wireless headphones and those go for about $19 with free shipping. There's only one that's been sold back in early September. So I'm betting this would not be a big seller. We have a Nintendo Switch AC adapter. The new price for this is $23.99. Oh, so this one's cool. We've got a Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing's new Horizons case. And those go for about 10 to $20 brand new. I've got three of these invisible shield glass screen protectors for the Nintendo Switch and those go for about 15 to $20. This is apparently invisible shield glass as well. It's just in this envelope, which is a little weird, I think. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> and it is literally just the piece of glass. Wow, that is quite the return. So apparently someone <laughs> just brought this back to the store for the return. And then we have another glass screen protector. And here we have a Pokeball Plus. And it actually is in there. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it's dirty, but the button seems to work. It seems to press okay. Okay, here we go. So that one's 30 bucks. That's brand new, pre-owned for 2250 plus 460 shipping. So we're looking about probably like 25 bucks with free shipping. So we have at least one item so far that's above the 24, 25 we paid for these. I know there's a few other things in here that are more expensive, so let's keep going through it. Here we have Insignia Twin Wheel Pack for the Nintendo Switch. And the last one of these sold for about 17 bucks. Another Yoke dual wireless headphone set. Another glass screen protector kit. This one's a two pack. If you need custom PCB manufacturing, JLC PCB provides PCB prototyping, SMT, and stencil services. They offer 24 hour online ordering and two to three day shipping to the United States. JLC PCB also offers coupon bonuses. Every new user gets coupons totaling $18 and you can also get $24 in coupons for free assembly every month. Coupon details are found at the link in the description and the link on your screen right now. Some of my favorite things about JLC PCB is their quality product and fast shipping. Go to the link in the description to order your high quality printed circuit boards from JLC PCB. A Nintendo Switch AC adapter. This one's an official Nintendo Switch adapter and these are worth about 20 bucks with free shipping. And we have an Insignia compact travel set. It looks like this is just a stand for the Switch and the Switch Lite and that's worth about nine bucks. So we have supposedly maybe a Joy-Con or two in here. This it looks like how these items were returned to the store. Let's open it up and see what's in here. Okay, it looks like we do have a set of Joy-Cons and they actually look like they're in decent condition. Okay. And these are worth about 60 to $70. Once I'm done going through everything, I will go through and test these and see if they're all working. If they are, this is actually maybe not too bad of a box. And then we have another set of the exact same Joy-Cons. Here we have a set of orange and purple Joy-Cons. And these go for between 80 and $100. So the last five items are actually five more sets of Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. So this is actually turning out to be maybe not too bad of a box. I'm gonna get these all unboxed so we can take a look at them and test them, and then we can estimate if I could make money on this box or not. So looking at just the Joy-Cons, $70 times six sets of the green Joy-Cons, that's $420, two sets of the orange and purple Joy-Cons, 
that's 160 for a total of $580 worth of Joy-Cons. Now I still do need to test and see if these even work, but overall it looks like this wasn't quite as bad of a buy as I thought. Let's get them tested though and see if they even work. There we go, we finally have one that's broken. This one is for sure broken. So we at least have one that's broken. Let's check the rest and see if we have any more that are broken. So we've got two Joy-Cons that need the analog sticks replaced. You guys don't wanna see that, do ya? Okay, I'll make you a deal. I will replace one of the analog sticks in this video so you can see how to do it. To get the analog stick apart, you need to take out these four screws. I'm using a Y0 bit. Can usually use a Y00 as well. And you just gotta get in where this crack is right here. I just use a fingernail. You can use a pry tool if you need to. And just take it off like that. And next we need to remove the battery. as well as this antenna. Then we'll be using a Phillips 00 to remove these screws off of this carrier right here. And now we need to remove this ribbon cable by flipping up this locking tab. Then I'll use a pair of tweezers to remove it. Now we can get to the analog stick. This analog stick has a big bump right here from someone just jamming it down over and over. So that would probably be what's causing the problem on this one. I'm gonna be replacing it with this analog stick. This is the newer style analog stick and you can tell because of this sort of bump right in the middle. These older style do not have that, at least they're not supposed to. This one has a bump because someone was pretty rough with it. So we just need to take out this screw and this screw, remove this ribbon cable, then we can get that replaced. And that is what it should look like. And this one feels much better when I press it down. This one just plain doesn't press down. Then the battery flops back down right here. Need to route the antenna through these little crevices right here and there we go now we can flip this cover back on and then put the four screws back in and there we go we have the analog stick replaced but does it work let's find out And of course it works. I can't believe you would doubt me. I'd say this box was not worth it if I was looking for profit, but a lot of it was just my curiosity. Thank you again to JLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good one.